What's up, Willowbrook? Today we're in Matthew 23, 37 through 24, verse 2. In our passage today, we read about Jesus grieving over Jerusalem. Uh, we read that this is the end of his public ministry. And then we read about his prediction of the fall of Jerusalem, which took place later in AD 70. But today I want to focus on verse 37. Jesus says, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who kill the prophets and stone those sent to you. How often I've longed to gather your children together as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings, and you were not willing. Now we have to remember that leading up to this, Jesus was rebuking the uh, teachers of the law and the Pharisees, and he was essentially telling them that they've been keeping the people from God, from the kingdom of God. So we see why Jesus says all that Leading up to verse 37, we, we find that Jesus loves the people. He, he's grieving over the fact that he's been calling them and that they have not come. And he says that not just one time, not just two times, but he says, How often I've longed to gather your children together as a hen gathers her chicks. And he says, And you were not willing. Jesus sounds heartbroken when you read this. Now, as I was studying this passage I came across a video of a hen doing just what Jesus is talking about. The hen would see danger nearby and would make a certain clucking sound and the chicks would hear the sound and immediately go to the hen and she would cover the chicks with her wings. Now, two things came to mind when I watched that. The first was that the chicks know the voice of the hen. So do we know the voice of Jesus when he speaks? Are we spending time with Jesus daily? Are we studying scripture? Are we spending time in prayer? Are we spending time in worship? Are we getting to know the voice of Jesus? You know, this makes me think of uh, my wife, Brandy, and I. We've been married for almost 17 years. If she calls me from any phone, even if I don't recognize the number, I can pick up the phone and say hello. And the moment I hear her voice, she can just say, hey, I know it's Brandy. I know it's my wife because I've spent so much time with her. I know her voice. So are we spending time with Jesus? Do we know his voice? And the second thing, when I was watching that video that came to mind is that the chicks know the voice of the hen, but they they don't just know the voice, but they follow the voice of the hen. So are we following the voice of Jesus? Every day, are we taking small steps of faith and, and building our trust, building our confidence in Jesus? This makes me think of my son Jude when he was really little. Uh, I could stand in a swimming pool and and it would be in a section that was too deep for him to swim in. And I would call out to him and and he would jump into my arms. Um, It wasn't that he just trusted me in that one moment. No, he had trusted me so many times leading up to that point that he was willing to trust me with his life. So are we following Jesus daily? You know, I don't want Jesus to look at us and and to say what he says in verse 37. I don't want him to see us and say, how often have I longed to gather you, but you are not willing. No, I want us to be people that know his voice and that follow him. So I pray that today that's true for you. God bless you.